right, what's going on YouTube? It's Joe with Nerd Online here where we do nerdy stuff online. And uh, this is my first video um, by myself. Um, as you all probably know in previous videos, I'm a big movie guy. Um, so this is going to be kind of a Blu-ray video that I've, uh, uh, stuff that I've bought in within pretty much February and March. Um, so we'll get started here. Uh, first up is Army of Darkness. Uh, and this one is a uh, Scream Factory release. And uh, for those of you that don't know Scream Factory, um, they, they're they very, very good releases that they have. Um, this is the alternate artwork. They come with uh, reversible covers in the inside there. Um, the other one is just the same as the slip cover, but uh, switched it out for the alternate. Um, this is a three disc collector set. So there's disc one, two, and three. Um, haven't seen this one yet. Um, I do have all three of them. I have Evil Dead's one and two and that one. Um, so I'm going to watch them all at the same time. Um, next up, uh, these next couple I found at Walmart for about five bucks. So I mean five dollar Blu-rays. You ain't going to buy those. And I just did buy them so I haven't got a chance to watch them yet. Uh, the first one is Big Trouble Little China. Um, and uh, Kurt Russell's in it. Um, I, uh, I've seen a couple other YouTubers talking about how good of a movie this is, so definitely excited to check that one out. Um, next up, another $5 one is Boondock Saints. Um, I think a lot of people have heard of this one. Um, it's got Daryl in it, Norman Reedus. Um, so good, definitely going to give that one a watch pretty soon here, too. Uh, next up, the recent Guillermo del Toro film, and I'm sorry if I butchered that name, um, is Crimson Peak, and I thought this movie was fantastic. Um, it didn't get the greatest of reviews from the critics, um, but I thought it was a, a very well done movie. Um, it's, it's not really a horror. I think a lot of people thought it was a horror movie. Horror, not horror. Horror movie. Um, but it's actually a thriller. Um, and it's got Tom Hiddleston as the I don't know. I don't think he's the lead, but he's 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 in there for a darn good amount of time. <laughs> um, Tom Hiddleston is the guy that played Loki um, in the Avengers and all that stuff. Um, next up, uh, I should probably say that one. Yeah, yeah, Crimson Peak. Um, let me tell you, it's got a great ending. Um, some people didn't like the ending. Um, but I thought it was uh, a really good ending, and yeah, like I said, it's more of a thriller, so definitely check it out. Um, I'd probably give that one at least an 8 out of 10, if not an 8.5. Um, but next up, uh, another $5 Walmart one is Hatchet 2. Um, I'll probably order um, 1 and 3 um, pretty soon here, so I can get those watched all together. I like to watch the series together. Um, instead of just watching two and then going back, watching one and then watching three. Um, so that was, yep, Hatch 2. Um, next up is Macbeth. Um, and this is the Blu-ray version, um, and it's only available at Best Buy on Blu-ray. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one's got Michael Fassbender in it as the lead role. Um, and I, I've loved the story of Macbeth um, since I learned about it in high school when we studied Shakespeare. And obviously, if any of you read Shakespeare, that is a mess. Um, unless you came from that time and you were, like, alive when he was alive, you're not going to really understand a damn thing he says. Um, but yeah, we had to have it explained to us. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but I loved uh, the story. Of Macbeth, and this one's like two and a half hours, 113 minutes. So, not even two hours. What am I talking about? Two and a half hours, 113. But it, it kind of goes slow. Um, I watched about 45 minutes of it. It was good, um, but yeah, I gotta sit down and finish it. Um, but anyway, next up, uh, the night before, uh, with Seth Rogen, Anthony Mackie, and J uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, and I went to this in theaters, and, oh, man, I laughed really, really hard at a few uh, points in this movie. Um, but who doesn't love Seth Rogen? I mean, he's he's one of the funniest guys out there that I know of right now. Um, so, yeah, obviously that one 
definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. I'd probably give that one about an 8 out of 10 as well. Um, next up is Phantasm 2. And uh, this one is a Scream Factory. It came out in 1988 originally. Um, but this is the Scream Factory release. And uh, I'll show you. The, that's the alternate uh, artwork. Front and back. The other one is just the same as the front. Um, inside. Um, and actually, funny story about Phantasm 2 here. Um, Scream Factory, this is the only one of the Phantasm series that they released. There is four movies total, um, but they can only get the licensing to release this one. And I heard through the grapevine that they are going to release the first one within the coming year. Um, so I hope so, because that was a really, really good movie. Um, but yeah, so if, I mean, if you look it up on Amazon, I think the DVD for the first one's like eighty dollars, and who the heck is gonna pay that much? Like really? Um, but yeah, uh, definitely check that one out too. If it's kind of a it's it's a horror movie. It's kind of weird. Um, it's got yeah, just it's just creepy, weird. But I thought it was really good. Uh, probably like eight eight point five as well. Um, but yeah, very very good movie. Um, next up is The Thing, and I just picked this one up. Don't get mad at me. I've never seen it before. I just watched it maybe a couple weeks ago for the first time. And uh, this one also has Kurt Russell, same guy from Big Trouble Little China, so I know that one's going to be good. But, yeah, this one was very, very good. Um, it was kind of like a staple in movies, and I feel bad that it's taken me this long. It's directed by John Carpenter. Who doesn't know John Carpenter? <coughs> um... Yeah, it's basically about these guys that are in the uh, Antarctic, and there is an alien running around, and it, like, possesses people, and they're trying to figure out who the alien is, and they're trying to kill it, and just just a good movie. I mean, it's got gory moments, so, you know, if you're not, if you're susceptible to things like that, just don't check it out, but overall, just a, just a good movie. I'd probably give that a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, next up, this one has been out for a while. I have it on regular Blu-ray, but uh, just picked this one up recently, and that's the Steelbook. These next few are, the, the rest of this video is going to be Steelbooks and special editions and stuff, so. Yeah, this is the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Steelbook, um, and I didn't get to pick this up um, when it first, that's Ultron on back, didn't get to pick this up when it first came out, so it did cost me a bit more um, than it should have, but... Uh, I wanted it really bad, so, you know, sometimes you make sacrifices. So, I mean, if you haven't seen Age of Ultron, I mean, if you haven't seen Avengers, what, what are you waiting for? Come on. Um, but next up, Big Lebowski Steelbook. And uh, it's got the bowling lane and the white Russian that he's always drinking. Back due to bites. Show you inside, inside, nothing special, nothing really in there. Um... Yeah, just watched this for the first time, and I love this one, too. I mean, you, you hear people, all, this is a cult classic right here. Definition of a cult classic right here. Um, but, yeah, great movie. I'd probably give that one a 9 out of 10 as well. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And this one, next one, I haven't opened yet um, because I have already seen the movie. So, I mean, this is a limited edition seal book, so I figure if I keep it in the packaging, you know, it could be worth money someday, hopefully. Um, and that is the Mondo Steelbook um, of Dread. Um, and if you haven't seen Dread, I, I again, suggest checking it out. It um, wasn't that critically acclaimed. Um, I'll show you the back there. Wasn't that critically acclaimed, um, but I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. I know they were planning a sequel. I'm pretty sure they canceled it, though, because this came out a couple of years ago, I want to say. Uh, but... Yeah, that's that's dread. Um, like I said, only a Best Buy steel book. Just recently got that. That one actually wasn't too high priced either, so I was surprised. I was like definitely getting that one. Um, but next up is You Only Live Twice. And for any of you that may know or may not know, what they've done is they've released a bunch of steel books for all of the old James Bond movies, as well as the new ones like Skyfall, Quantum of Solace. And, uh, 
Casino Royale. That was one. Um, yeah, they released the steel books for all of them. So I mean, I don't, I don't have all of them yet. Um, I definitely will be getting them. Um, so you know, maybe in the next video, I might have them all. Who knows? So it's front and back. And on the inside, it's just got 007 across. And while I'm thinking about it now, the uh, the digital codes that come in all these, I could give away to you guys if you'd like. Um, so I mean, I could start doing that if you want. Just leave a comment in the in the uh, uh, comments below of which one you would like. Um, I think it's only um, that one there, the only the twice, and then a couple of the other ones that I got coming up. Um, yeah, leave a comment below, um, and then subscribe to the channel, and I'll, you know, maybe do on the next video, I'll tell you who the winners are, and I'll PM you a code or whatever. I don't know how that works, but I'll figure it out. <coughs> um, next up is Thunderball. Here's the front, the back, and... Inside. Thunderball. 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 Next up, another James Bond, and that's Diamonds Are Forever. Front and back. The insides are all the same. They just got different colors for the 007. You know, I don't know if any of you guys are steelbook collectors, but I just got into it, and I can tell you right now that more companies need to decorate the inside of the steelbooks because that just makes people like us that buy it appreciate that steelbook more is if they have inner artwork I mean I know we buy it for the outside too but it's just a little extra just do it for us come on alright that ends that little rant there um, next up Pan's Labyrinth and this is another Mondo steelbook and this is a future shop exclusive I don't really know what Future Shop is. Don't hate me for it. I've never heard of Future Shop. I've just seen the steel book and I was like, it's purple. It looks cool. Gotta buy it. Um, it looks like a very, very creepy movie. Front and back. And it's actually got a slip for it too. Um, and then the, obviously the front and then the back has those little winged creatures, whatever they are. I'm not too sure, but inside is also very very cool that's what I'm talking about inner artwork it's not a whole lot but darn it it looks cool um, it's two discs but yeah I mean I love that inner artwork I mean look at that that's awesome all right so yeah that's Pan's Labyrinth the Mondo Steelbook next up oh god I hate handling this thing is the fingerprint magnet of Spectre and if any of you bought this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Can't pick this thing up, move it, touch it, breathe on it without something flying on there and you see it. Front and back. And the bullet holes are embossed. The, uh, the lettering on the front is not, but the bullet hole is. And the front is just like the other ones, 007. I mean, that's cool. I, I understand the effort, but I would have liked a little more. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, this one came out to Walmart. You guys might have seen it. It came in a kind of like a special edition pack. It had the hair thing. I threw that away. I thought it was dumb. <laughs> but uh, that's the Blue Steel Book of Zoolander. And if you guys haven't seen Zoolander, come on. Why? <laughs> it's got Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. Everyone knows who they are. I mean, watch it. Just do it. In the back. Because I'm pretty sure that there's more to life than being really, really, really good looking. But I'm not sure. Inside is Zoolander. Derek Zoolander. Like I said, watch it. I'd give this one a solid, like, nine. Maybe even nine. I thought it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, that's it for my Blu-ray pickups for February and March here. Um, I'm planning on doing these videos about once a month, um, unless I don't pick up much. I don't want to do a video where I've only bought like three movies in that month, 
unless you want to see it. I mean, you can tell me in the comments if you want to see it anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this one. Um, I'm Joe with Nerd Online again. We just got done doing some nerdy stuff online. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.